Do not dismiss the 4B movement. I came across this video on YouTube today of this woman dismissing the 4B movement. She said that why didn't the women just pick better? It sounded like a pearl, uh, an imitation pearl. She had over a million subscribers on her YouTube channel, and she literally posted this a few hours ago. So I'm reacting to her toxic you know, reaction to the 4B movement. I take these women's pain serious because just like decentering men, we experience some of the same problems with our men, with our patriarchal system. For this girl to be such a pick me though, and to proclaim that she should just pick better, she doesn't know that people like Fresh and Fit will discard you by the time you're 25. So you don't have much time to quote unquote pick better. In defense of the 4B women in South Korea, they're reacting to some serious crimes against them. Revenge porn, all kind of uh, evil things are happening to them from young girls on up. And when a girl does something similar, like post online a new picture of somebody, she'll be sentenced harshly. She'll be charged jail time. But her male counterpart, he won't even go to court. So we're going to read this article by um, The Cut. And it's called A World Without Men. Yumi's childhood was a difficult one. The 25 year old nurse was born to a poor family in Daegu, South Korea, known for being one of the most conservative cities in the country. Yumi's mom left the home when Yumi was young to escape her husband's physical abuse, leaving her and her sister behind with him and their paternal grandmother. When she was five, her eight-year-old sister started losing her hair from stress. As she grew older, Yumi found herself depressed, unsure of what her future held, and financially unstable. In Korea's patriarchal society, in which women are generally expected to defer to their fathers and to adhere to rigid beauty standards, she felt like a perpetual victim. Obsessed by the wrongs done by her, by her father, and pressured into maintaining her appearance in order to please men. Despite her meager budget as a nursing student, she purchased new clothes each season, spending a lot of money on cheap, poor quality clothes from H&M. She wore makeup religiously. She, she says, I could not go outside without any makeup. I felt ashamed of my face. I had this pressure of wanting to look beautiful and wanting to be desirable, physically or sexually. We know that in Korea, you can change the shape of your nose with this Play-Doh. They, they're the leaders in skincare and beauty products. And so with that being their main hub, it's a lot of pressure. And they're trying to mix with Americanized standards while at the same time, keeping their own and it's draining. So what happened was she was scrolling through Twitter in 2018 and she came across footage of these protesters in the street of Seoul, which is in South Korea. And it was after this judge said that uh, there was a case where a woman had got sentenced 10 months and she had to do some kind of counseling for sexual violence because she posted a picture of a nude male model from an art school. Now, it was unconsensual, but the same thing was happening to women in South Korea. Uh, things like revenge porn, femicide, dating violence, which is really widespread out in South Korea. These men, they wouldn't even see the inside of a courthouse. And so this, this protest, like we saw here in 2020, this protest happening in South Korea was in reaction to the blatant hypocrisy. So this article goes on to say, Yumi was moved by the solidarity she saw. But there was one thing she found perplexing. Many of the women at the protesters shaved their heads on camera. As she began to follow more feminist Twitter accounts, Yumi understood this was a public act of rejection of those same aesthetically aesthetical expectations imposed on Korean women that had made the country a, leading, a leader in grooming products and plastic surgery. She began to realize that, you know, men do not do that. She says, men do not feel the pressure to buy clothes every season or wear makeup. 
So eventually the article says she shaved her own head. She stopped wearing makeup too. And then, you know, this goes on to say, it says 24% of women in their 20s reported cutting back their spending on beauty products in the previous year. With many saying that they no longer felt the need to put in the effort. And so we can't dismiss this for these women to go on and say the four B's, which is smaller but growing movement among Korean women, is shorthand for the four Korean words that all start with by or meaning no. So uh, by Han, which is the no in Korea, is the refusal of heterosexual marriages, uh, refusal of childbirth, they're refusing relationships and they're refusing sex. So these people are boycotting. They said, I spoke to the extent their boycott to nearly all the men. I said, I spoke to extend their boycott to nearly all the men in their lives, including distancing themselves from male friends. And so I'm going to play this video of this girl who made these ugly comments about the movement. The 4B movement. The 4B movement. The 4B movement. The 4B movement. Shout out to the 4B movement. Be alone. In their movement. So a new feminist movement is taking root here in the United States, and it came out of Korea. It's known as the 4B movement, where women are saying no to four things. Dating men, having sex with men, marrying men, and having children with them. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe. The future of the human race apparently may depend on it. Let's talk about the 4B movement. Now, as I said at the top of this video, this is a movement that came out of South Korea that apparently women are adhering to. And they're adhering to the idea of saying four no's, again, to dating men, having sex with them, marrying them, and having children with them. Now, all of these four no's have Korean words that start with the letter B, and that's where we get the 4B movement. Movement. Now, in this video, we are going to discuss the 4B movement, talk about how big it actually is in South Korea. But apparently, a lot of American women are getting the impression that this is a movement that is sweeping the nation and they want it to take root here in the United States. Let's hear from some American women on TikTok who are deciding to take up the 4B movement so that they can explain it to you themselves. I'm so glad you asked. The 4B movement is a movement in South Korea right now where the misogyny and sexism is so bad that South Korean women have decided to opt out of dealing with men in time. Entirely. That is not a joke. That is not an exaggeration. They are not dating men. They are not marrying men. They are not having children with men. They're not even sleeping with men anymore. And it's called the 4B movement because the Korean words for those four things all start with the letter B. This kind of first started happening around 2016 when Kim Ji Young, born 1982, a novel came out. And it is a fictional book about a Korean every woman and all of the misogyny and sexism that she's experienced from literally being a child all the way to her being an adult suffering with postpartum depression after having her child. Now, this book became a runaway bestseller among South Korean women because they were like, she's just like me for real. And that's kind of when it started cooking, right? Now, the movement officially got its name in 2019, and it's just been going ever since. It's so successful, in fact, that now South Korea has one of the lowest birth rates in the world. The number of deaths in South Korea outnumber the number of births in South Korea. And it's hilarious because all the men and the government are like, oh my God, what do we do? We, they, they don't want to like talk to us. They don't want to date us. They don't, what do we do? Like everything's in shambles. We don't know what to do. When South Korean women have been very clear from day one, they're like, hey, either you get your act together or we are literally eliminating all of this, like we are shutting it down. So that's the 4B movement and why I'm so obsessed with it and why I think we should have the 4B movement everywhere. Thanks for listening. Now that video has nearly 560,000 likes on it, mostly from American people. Let's read a few of the comments. Let's take the 4B movement worldwide. That's funny. I've been doing the 4B movement all my life without knowing, hee hee. So you get the gist of the picture that's being painted here. The 4B movement is sweeping South Korea because of misogyny and sexism. And because of the 4B movement, the South Korean birth rate is at a record low. We're gonna talk a little later on about the fact that that might not even be the case, but it doesn't really matter because TikTok and social media has picked up the narrative and now American modern day feminists are running with it. This so at first she sounds like she's with the team. She's on our side. Sounds like she's just letting you guys get informed about it. But wait till she makes commentary on this second TikTok clip.
This video says 4B movement has arrived in the U.S. and I'm here for it. How do y'all feel about it? He hates you. They hate us. Men do not like us. Um, be alone. That's really the only other option. Just be alone. Look in the mirror. Sit with yourself. Cry. Have an ego death. And then get really hot. Get a bunch of hobbies. It could be extremely successful. And write a fucking book or something. Just be alone. Oh my god. It is so much better than being with someone who hates your ass. Well, here's a novel idea. Maybe find a man who doesn't hate you and date that man. They do exist, even though you're not allowed to say not all men these days here in the See, that was a cheap shot right there. Dismissive of this woman's experiences. How many women sound depressed like that? You know, melatonin, sitting there talking like a dude, just get through life. She sounds like she's hanging on by a string, okay? And when this woman here is making jabs at her, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the criticism and the dismissiveness of these women's pain, what they've been through. Men do are not wired to like women. Because we hear this over and over again. Don't be like a girl. Don't cry. Don't do that. Don't don't be this. Don't be that. Everything that's feminine, men are told to fear it. So it's, you know, this is nothing of a stretch of imagination at all. Here in the United States. But I digress. Let's watch some more. It's so crazy that I am just now finding out what the 4B movement is because me and the other women in my life, we've been on that. We've been on the 4B movement. We've been on the 4C movement. What is you talking about? So I think that the 4B movement, if it's not already evident, it's going to make its way to the United States. It's very interesting. The men are already begging. Women are waking up in the droves, in the hundreds. I see more liberating content for women. The collective consciousness is that it's all time high and it's only going to keep growing. Like that 4B movement is making its way pretty soon. And ladies, we got to strategize, okay? I'm making a twitch to strategize because... Men begging now, but they're going to try to do more drastic things as they get tired. I'll be the first to say I would love to be in a strategy meeting for the 4B movement because I have no idea what the f*** that means. And it's interesting that a lot of the- Hold on. So we're about five minutes into your little shindig here, and you telling us you don't know what it means. So now you're weaponizing your incompetence. You may as well just be a man. The women who are making these videos are sort of functioning from the assumption that women are already perfect. We are already the best people that we can be. And it really is that the problem and the issues are just men. They are the ones who bear the burden of everything that's wrong within the dating sphere right now. And we have no accountability to be taken. And if men are so terrible and they're truly everything that's wrong with society right now, and we don't want to touch them with a 10 foot pole, why would you need a strategy meeting for that? Because this is called the patriarchy. It's ran by men. What part of that don't you understand? Women are sitting here fighting to be the more dominant species. We accept our roles. Okay, we understand that we're the weaker vessel and that we submit ourselves unto men. It's the men who hold the power. Okay, you got to understand, like, are you, you're disclaiming the feminist, but then you're acting like you're a feminist all in one breath. Because it's like, how can you be a victim to men? It's like, well, isn't this a patriarchy? Aren't they on average six feet taller than us? Aren't they on average paid more? Didn't we just now getting our vote voting rights in 1920? Didn't we just now get our rights to own banking accounts in 1970s? They have decades and decades ahead of us. They're up, okay? City boys are up right now. So yes, we as women... We as the weaker vessel need strategies. We need a movement so that we can spread the word. Okay, what's wrong with that? For that seems like a pretty easy thing to adhere to. And I guess she's insinuating that men are somehow going to resort to violence if the 4B movement becomes big enough in the United States. But what man is going to come chasing after a modern day feminist who does not want him? I guess we'll see. It's called an incel. So you didn't hear about the man who got arrested because that woman rejected to give him her phone number? Or how about the twin sister who was stabbed in the heart and the neck on the streets of New York because the guy didn't want to take no for an answer? She even gave him her Instagram handle. It still wasn't enough for him. 
So what rock has this woman been living under? I clicked subscribe right away because I was interested in the subject matter. But let me show you something. We'll see. All right, next. Seriously, I have an honest question. Did all of us become celibate like a year and a half ago, two years ago? I did a year and a half ago. Like, I don't even care. Just give it six months and you're just like, what? Oh, ew. Ew. And then like, yeah, your health is much better. Your sleep is much better. Your life is much more peaceful. So who's already been doing the 4B movement? But yeah, I haven't dated it at all. My life has, this has been the best year of my life. Like in terms of just working on myself and my career, like, holy shit. I was thinking about that in bed last night. I was like, what was the worst time of my life and the best time of my life? I've had some very hard things happen, but as far as happiness, this is the happiest I've ever been. So anyways, the four B's stand for basically no sleeping with men, no dating them, no marrying them, no sleeping with them, no making babies with them. Who's down? Also, I'm thinking like something like we need to build a commune in the forest so that we can frolic around and do whatever the hell we want. Ah, yes, the alternative to healthy long-term relationships and family creation, Barbie land. In our female commune, we frolic around, we make herbal teas, we read smut books written by Colleen Hoover, and we eventually die off in one generation due to an inability to procreate. Does that not sound like a utopian dream to you? This next one says 4B movement, no sex, no babies, no dating no marriage. If men and our capitalist, patriarchal, misogynistic society can't treat us like full human beings, stop participating in their scam. The one So what's wrong with that? This woman is a major pick me. And you know what? She's taking on the burdens. She would be the, the perfect toxic boy mom. She'll do all the hefty living, the hefty, well, yeah, hefty lifting for her sons. She'll kick her daughters out on the streets. That's the point of view she's coming from. Just toxic. How are you going to dismiss what these women have gone through? You don't even live in Korea. This is what you call toxic femininity right here. Okay, you're using all your powers for evil. Okay, you're supposed to be nurturing, understanding. These women are telling you they're being attacked. They're telling you that these men don't respect them, that they're making pennies on a dollar compared to their male counterparts. And yet you're still trying to talk about how do we save the human race? Forget the human race. They don't care about it. The men who abandon their children, they don't care about the human race. Women take care of kids more on average than men do in any part of the world because that baby comes from our stomach. It has an umbilical cord. So, so it's not even a, a no brainer right there. Women have been more responsible through the test of time. Women are the most responsible species on the earth. It's time that we get some help. That's what we're saying. We need some help. This is old news. So I don't dismiss the 4B movement. I understand where these women are coming from. You know, they're dealing with stress all the time. Their bodies are changing. And then on top of that, they're going to jail for something that a man who would do. And the guy would get slapped on the wrist for it. You know what I'm saying? These women are tired of that. They want equality or equity, rather. You're talking about East Asia, those parts where women had to have their feet binded up so that they couldn't even walk when they became of age. So why is it so hard to wrap your mind around that they're suffering oppression, even in 2024? This is what we're talking about, these toxic pick me's. She's sitting there and her comment is flooded with a bunch of men. She knows she's got a million subscribers, about half of them are men, and the majority of them leaving comments are men. So she's saying, pick me, pick me, but meanwhile, is she even picked? Does anyone even know who she is? Is she married? You know what I'm saying? She's running her mouth on social media, criticizing the movement, criticizing women for having rights, standing up. How, do you, how does she think she got her rights in America, her right to have a podcast? Men didn't give that to her. Women had to fight for that. The right to speak. You could breastfeed, but keep your mouth shut. So I support the bre the B4 movement. And I know women, we have our problems with each other. Everyone don't get along. But one thing we can agree on is that we are fed up with patriarchy, the toxic patriarchy we've been living in. 
We love our sons and we love our daughters, but this world is not made for both. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel. We're going to get deeper into these topics as they come. Make sure you hit the email if you want to send me a story. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.